Our guest today is Carrie Goulet. Together we have a interesting chat as she has the unique privilege of working at both a wellness center and also a conventional doctor's office. Being able to personally experience the differences and philosophies between these two health oriented businesses. Also, Carrie has been drawn to toning with her clients while doing energy work. She refers to it as angelic toning and it is having a drastic difference in the energy medicine treatments. So we'll be talking a little bit about that and why it works so well. Karma Hub, it's a learning channel centered around a wide variety of healing modalities and the practitioners that offer them. So please click on the Karma Hub like button and the Karma Hub subscribe button. And I really hope that you enjoy this talk. Thank you so much. Pretty much what I do is toning and even in any energy healing session that I do, there's always toning. The point is that it's kind of like a sound bath. It's the vibrations that I'm making with the sounds of my voice that penetrate through to like a cellular level. And they're really able to like get in there and just like purge whatever is not supposed to be there. If we're doing like an intuitive coaching or, or you're doing a healing and there's intuitive messages and whatnot coming through, you know, we all have ego and it can distort things. I don't think that sound has that same distortion. I feel like sound hmm. penetrates through at like the different layers and it just gets, it gets to the core. So good morning, Carrie. It's so nice to see you. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Great. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about what you do. I understand that, um, well, first of all, you, you work in a wellness center. Um, you also work in a doctor's office. Yep. And I imagine, uh, things are handled very different in one environment versus the other. I, you know, I'd love to hear a little bit about that. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been, I will, I've been in the medical office um, like for so many years, at least 15 years, I started doing like billing and coding and now I kind of manage the medical office and kind of like whatever they throw at me, I do. It's kind of, there's no direct job description. It's just whatever goes wrong try to fix it um so I've been doing it a long time and then you know I got I had a thyroid issue and I I was sick and I was just I needed an alternative I needed another answer like because it just wasn't working they just wanted to do surgery every every answer that they had was surgery and I didn't want to go that route I felt like there was a natural way of healing and then I stumbled upon nourishing journey and kind of, I had energy work done for the first time. And it was just like, I don't, I don't really know what happened after that. I don't really know how to explain it. It was just like, I could, I just felt lighter. I left there. I cried, like cried my eyes out. And I haven't cried in, like that in forever. And I left feeling so much later and then I went back again and I had this experience where it was like, I was like glued to the chair and my entire body was like vibrating and it almost felt like I was lifting up and out, but I couldn't move at the same time. And it was, it was just so profound. And I was like, I was in my head, I was saying to myself, you know, just breathe through this. And I did. And the next two weeks, I felt like I was walking on clouds. Like, even though I was still symptomatic and having all these issues, I was having the best time of my life. Oh, and so funny. I kind of made a promise to myself at that time that I need to know more. I need to learn more about this. I need to figure out and, and use this to help me to finish healing. So I'm going to do whatever I can to learn about this and use this to benefit myself, you know, and help myself heal. So it was kind of like a self healing journey that led me there. And then, you know, it was just kind of like one thing after another, like it was kind of like it felt built upon itself. It's like, you know, I started with a holistic metamorphosis. Um, and then 
you know, it's kind of weird at first trying to like, you know, it, it, when you're, when you're so used to mainstream medical and you're working in a medical office and it's like, right. people come in and they basically, they get a medication, they leave, they feel better. They come back. That's basically what people who go to a doctor's office are looking for. Right. Um, and over here it's about, you know, looking at yourself and your inner child and, where were you, were you not given a voice as a child? Where, you know, what hurt you or what did you have to shield yourself from? Or, you know, going back and healing these aspects that you're not taught to look at and kind of going at it from a, a like, okay, well, yes, I went through that, but what, what, it, what was that showing me? Why did I have to go through that? You know, kind of questioning a little bit more. You, you put that so well. I mean, I feel like, um, so what you're kind of saying is that if you go to a doctor, you're, you're giving them the power to take care of whatever symptoms that you're experiencing. If you go to a wellness center, you basically are part of the empowerment of helping to heal yourself and to grow. I so it's two true. completely, in one way, you're handing someone else the power. Yep. And the other way, you're taking a lot of the responsibility on yourself to, um, to grow and to heal, um, take self-responsibility. So. Absolutely. I think the, the, the purpose of holistic, um, healing modalities is to empower the person to be able to have the tools to be able to use it and help them heal going forward. It's not, I'm going to give you a medicine one time and never see you again. It's, holding them accountable to some degree, but also supporting them and being there for them um, if they fall and, and having a soft space to land, but also building up the confidence and helping them move through the issues um, so that they can have that as a tool to move forward and maybe help many others. So you're empowering them and then they can go on and help others and help others. And, it, and so it can kind of grow, you know, like a, a tree with its roots and it's all connected. So as you help one person, they help another person and it kind of expands and spreads. Yeah. And at the doctor's office, it's kind of like, you know, some people, they, they're curious, but there's just this, it's a different type of atmosphere. They, they, there's this program kind of that's running in the background. And I, I used to think this too, like, I never questioned it. It was just like how I was brought up is you go to a doctor you get a medicine and then you take the medicine or the antibiotic for a week and then you're better. And then you only go there for a physical or if something goes wrong, and that's it. They don't teach you any other way. So we have this idea that if you go to a doctor, the doctor is just supposed to fix any and everything. And we don't hold ourselves accountable for anything because we don't understand that there's an accountability on our part. It, it's, not taught to us so it's not our fault either nobody talks about it you know that is true yeah and, and and it would be great if i mean i do like the idea of going to the doctors and getting something that that works and fixes the problem i mean that would be great if that's the way it it really worked but more often than not that's not what happens um or you have to take whatever pill you're given over and over and over again for many years. Um, or there's many side effects that are associated with the pill or whatever it is that you're um, taking on. Um, so, so there is a consequence typically for going, let's just call it the short route. In many cases, I, I do feel like it's, it's overused and people put too much weight on the doctor when in fact you have the power within yourself to actually make changes. Um, you know, but I, I do want to kind of go back to energy medicine a little bit because it can make a instantaneous profound shift kind of like the pill, right? <laughs> so if someone wants that instantaneous change, um, I, I am not saying that if you go to a wellness center, that that's not what's going to happen. Because oftentimes you, you have energy work done or some sort of modality that makes some sort of very physical shift or energetic shift, which in turn is physical, um, 
or energetic shift, which many times could be mental, all of which are tangible. And with that shift, it can be instantaneous. Um, you know, I'll, 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 that's what happened to me when I started. I mean, you had an experience. Um, I had experience 10 years ago and it was an instantaneous shift. And I, I got to tell you, if I didn't have that instantaneous moment, that instantaneous shift, I don't know if I hadn't been hit with that metaphorical sledgehammer. I don't know if I had, I would have opened my eyes. Um, I think that was the same for me. It had to be, it had to be really a big thing for me to be like, oh my God, I can feel this like so intensely. Right. I need to look at this. Otherwise, I probably would have just been like, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Moved <Right>. on. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, it can be an instantaneous thing, just like the pill. Uh, but as a general rule, um, going to a wellness center, experiencing these modalities, they can they they can make a shift for you, but they also and give you the tools to allow you to kind of embody your own growth and you take responsibility for your own growth. Yep. Um, so anyway, that was very well said. Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah. And I mean, yes, medicine does have its place. There are certain things that you need to have a medicine or, or uh, procedures and stuff, but yeah. I just, there is a huge misconception as to how far that goes, but and, um, and the energy, like there's so many different modalities and so many different things. And I think that we all, even sometimes by just talking to people and giving advice, sometimes that's all a person needs. And sometimes the person is just looking for somebody to help them and talk to them because they don't feel seen or heard by anybody. Um, you know, so some, sometimes it can be as simple as being the person that listens to helping them to move through whatever they're moving through without, you know, judging them, just holding space for them to say whatever they have to say and maybe offering a different perspective of looking at things from an outside point of view where sometimes we get so caught up in wanting something that we can't see, we can only see forward, like in this narrow space, we can't look at it from, okay, well, if you switch this, this, and this, maybe you could still get there, but it would be much easier. You know, so just kind of, it, it, I feel like energy work is, you know, kind of like coaching and, you know, doing energy. Like I started with the holistic metamorphosis, which is kind of like channeling the Orsham angels. And that was created by Jennifer Palmer. Um, and I felt so connected to like the angelic and I could really feel it. And I was like, hmm, this is fascinating. But after that experience, I didn't feel anything for a long time. So it was like one big boom of an experience. And then it was like, now you have to trust that that's enough to keep moving forward and get to a place where, you know, you can start to feel it again or, you know experience it on a different understanding, a different level. So it was kind of like a interesting unfolding for me. Yeah. And I would have to say that I've, um, so I've also, I go to Jen Palmer quite frequently. Um, she's fantastic. And of course she has many modalities and the modality you're talking about, I, I've experienced. And yeah, it was pretty, uh, uh, pretty potent, <laughs> you know? Very. Um, yes. Um, yeah. And it's really crazy for me. I mean, I, you know, I've been doing this now for 10 years or experiencing these sort of modalities for 10 years. And every time I feel the energy, because it's very tangible, very physical for me now, or even, even then. Um, but it's still in my mind, it, it's very strange that you can feel basically someone else's intention. Yeah. I know. Right? Yeah. And, um, and oftentimes you can tell exactly where they're intending. Like if they're working on your, your heart, you can feel it there. If they're working on your knee, you can feel the energy there. Um, but I can almost always feel the energy running through my, my body. And it's, it's, it's still mind blowing to me. 
because it's not, it wasn't part of my belief system. And I still have a hard time grasping it. I believe it. I think it's strange. <laughs> you know, that's the best way to put it. I, I believe in so many of these um, unusual modalities. They really work. Um, and, and they're, they're weird. I to me, you. but I, I, I say I weird. I, 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 I use work. weird in a, a very um, positive way. It's, mm -hmm. it's just, it's hard for me to grasp. And no, it's I, I, I totally agree because I, I do the energy work and sometimes I feel that way. And I'm just like, oh, this is fascinating. What's going to come no. through today? Because it's like, you just don't know. And I, I actually had to train myself out of my own mindset in a sense. And sometimes still, I still notice the thought pattern and we're like, what is this? Um, but I had to, like, I just kept going to like these like Jen, they have the intuitive development courses and stuff. And I didn't feel like I was intuitive at all, but I forced myself to go, even though I felt like a fish out of water, every single time they had a class, I went until I came to a point where I was like, okay, I just need to trust myself and just go with it and go with the flow because what's happening is how I receive information like I'm not hearing anything really. I'm, I'm just, it just comes into my head and it's just like a knowing. And I had a really hard time with that because I didn't, I was like, I feel like I'm just giving this person advice. Like, I don't feel like I'm doing anything intuitive. But what I learned was that there's things that were coming into my head that I wouldn't have no other way of knowing. I don't know these people in front of me. <laughs> You know, so it was trusting myself, having that faith and trust that what I was receiving was for this person in front of me through that connection, you know, so that I could help them. So through this course, you actually learned to trust your um, inner voices or inner connection, yeah, um, like your inner self. Knowing. I, I feel like sometimes, like, I feel like we all have intuitive abilities, but we're not taught to use them. So we, we don't understand how we actually use them, even though we, we, we tend to use it in everyday life, but we don't really know that we're doing that. It's kind of like, you know, having those deja vu experiences, like everybody's experienced a deja vu in, in their life at some point. And it's kind of like, Oh my God, I feel like I'm living through something that already occurred. So it's, it's like kind of a similar connection, but learning, how to trust yourself and the information you receive. I think that's the most important thing is anybody can do it, but you have to just practice it. And, and it doesn't matter where you start, just keep practicing it and you'll get better. Like math, we don't know what we're doing in school when we learn math, but after practice and learning the basics, we build upon it and we're able to do it. You know, some people pick it up easier than others. Some people, you know, but everybody can do basic math at some point. Like, right. it doesn't matter. Very well put. Yeah. Well, you had mentioned to me uh, another type of um, energy work, or maybe it would just be considered a booster. Um, and that is toning. After I did my Karuna Reiki attunement um, for the Karuna Reiki master, um, it just kind of up leveled. Like, I, I don't know what opened, but it was like what I was already kind of just dabbling with just like blew open. And I was just like, okay. So now pretty much what I do is toning. And even in any energy healing session that I do, there's always toning. And it just depends on the person, what it sounds like. And I call it angelic toning because most of the time it kind of sounds like a very melodious um, sound. And, but sometimes if they need like a deeper clearing, it will get like a louder and, and sometimes it doesn't sound that great. But, it, but the point is that it's kind of like a sound bath. It's the vibrations that I'm making with the sounds of my voice that penetrate through to like a cellular level. And they're really able to like get in there and just like purge whatever is not supposed to be there. So um, I kind of imbue the angelic toning with the different modalities of Reiki and the HM that I've learned. Um, and it's just been kind of a journey um, I really enjoy it. And I've seen such profound 
effects from the people that I've done it. Um, most of the time it's like, they're super relaxed. Um, a lot of people fall asleep. Pretty much everybody falls asleep at some point. It's like very relaxing and soothing to them. And then I just do whatever comes through. And it's like, it's kind of like a little cat nap in the middle of the day and they kind of wake up refreshed and renewed. So it's, it's really beautiful. I, I really feel like I'm just scratching the surface of it and that there's much more that's going to come um, from doing it. But I, I just feel like it's, it's really powerful, like really powerful. Yeah. And so I've talked to a couple people that um, have, uh, have worked with you. Uh, one person in particular, or well, they, they, the two people that I've spoken to um, um, talk specifically about toning and how much of a difference that makes when you do the work on that particular person. Um, one person in particular, she was saying that, you know, when you started doing the toning, you know, it's, it's unusual when, you, when you're laying on this bed and you're getting this energy work done and then this tone comes out of the person, this noise comes out of the person. But what she said, she's like, in that moment, after she got out, out of, of her head about the fact that you were, this noise was being produced, she felt this overwhelming sense of energy, just like, just boosted, like amped up throughout her body. Um, and so she was going on and on about it and very impressed by it. Um, and I will say that, you know, I have a little experience with toning myself. Of course, I've gone to um, some other practitioners that uh, do toning and, you know, and, and I, I do feel like it's, Initially, it's a little awkward, but then when you experience what's occurring, um, you know, it, it all starts to make sense. Um, but yeah, it, it really just kind of boosts the energy. So if you have, if you can, when I'm feeling the energy and then someone starts toning, it just amplifies it like tenfold. Um, I actually took a course in Lilydale a number of years ago and um, we were, you know, studying some energy work. And it was the first time I had ever been faced with toning. And the same thing applied. Um, I mean, only, you know, only I was giving it and I could feel the energy flowing through my body into the other person's body. So, so many times over um, when I toned versus when I didn't. And it just really, it opened my eyes to the power behind that. And yeah, you know, I guess it's some sort of... Um, sound therapy, I guess, but, but why do you have any insights as to why it does what it does? Like sometimes when you're doing energy work or you learn energy work, there's specific holds or specific things that you're taught to do. And for me with the toning, it's just intuitively what sound or what vibration or what combination of sounds and vibrations is going to help this person and it and it kind of it's like music it's like music for your soul it's like why do people listen to music some people can't sleep without music some people can't like want to have music to work out there's this vibration in music that reaches mm -hmm. us on a deeper level than what we can understand that's why we have like the um binaural beats and like the well, I don't know how to say that, but the solfeggio, or I don't know how to say that. Solfeggio? So, or... Yeah, the frequencies, the different frequencies and tones that you can listen to that put you in these deeper um, states of being so that you can kind of, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's like binaural beats and, and whatnot. So it's like, it bypasses your mind. Like sometimes we're, when we're doing, um, if we're doing like an intuitive coaching or, or you're doing a healing and there's intuitive messages and whatnot coming through, you know, we all have ego and it can distort things. I don't think that sound has that same distortion. I feel like sound hmm. penetrates through at, like the different layers and it just gets, it gets to the core. Like, to the so, so I agree with what you're saying. That being said, if, if you started playing some like bi binaural beats during your sessions, it would not have the same impact as if that tone were coming from you. Yeah, it's, I think it's intention too. Like what what is like, you know, like you have intentions or specific things or if the person tells you they're working on 
I have, I have severe knee pain or feet pain, or you're gonna, you're gonna intend that that, but more than that is going to come through. And it, and it's that intention. I, I don't even know how to like exactly quantify it because I do sometimes like I've done, um, we've actually, I've done, I usually play like some sort of a music when I'm doing the toning or like a, some kind of a healing meditation frequency or something and do the toning in addition to that. So it's kind of like a double, you know, you have soft meditation music and then you have toning with it. Okay. Um, but it just, it really seems to just like penetrate on a much deeper level for yeah. like a quicker healing. I, I think, and, and I, you know, I also like with Whitney, we, we do like kind of joint healing sometimes and she's, she's more hands-on and, and gets drawn to like different points and then all like tone. And, and it seems like a, a, a really amazing combination, but mm. each has its own significance. It just, I feel like it's more what is it that this person who I'm working with needs at that time that is what's going to come through whatever is for their best their highest good and what is needed most for them is is and that's what's going to come in but I, I think the deep relaxation helps too because it's like you know I know when I get energy work and I think I've fallen asleep like once maybe like okay. for like five minutes. I don't usually ever fall asleep. Um, but when I do that, the effect of that healing, even a sound healing or anything is like a hundred times more potent, but usually I'm not able to get that deep in. So this kind of seems to bypass that, like, you know, where it's like, Oh, I don't know. I can't, I can't fully relax. Like most, pretty much everybody I've worked with they're pretty relaxed I've also had an um one experience where um the person had an entity with them and I never made such noises with my voice I actually lost my voice after but the entity was gone after and it was kind of like you know mm. it was able to just just that vibration that sound that intention that energy it was like it and it just kind of dissolved Wow. So I, I myself, am still like learning because it's ever evolving, but I think that this is much bigger and that it's meant, you know, for me to share it with everybody, which is also hard for me because that means I have to do it in front of people in larger capacities and put, right. put myself out there, um, which I wouldn't do before. So, you know, through this and it's standing in my power. And as I embrace that and expand, it, it, it also expands with me. So why do you think this isn't done more often? I mean, I, I have had it done. I've been taught it, but typically speaking, when I get energy work done, um, that's not something that people do. I really think that everybody has their own gifts and their own um, kind of thing that they're drawn to. Like, and I don't necessarily think that, one is better than the other. I think, you know, they just, it's just a way of getting to the same place in a different manner. Like everything has its place. Everything has a, a benefit. It doesn't really matter if you're just doing straight Reiki versus the toning. It's gonna, it, it, it does have different effects on the body, but the intention in the person, like you're still gonna get a benefit from it no matter what. And different people are able to hone into different skill sets based on what they're here to bring. It's really good to experience different people and the modalities that they bring and, and sometimes the combination of those, um, depending on what you're working on. I feel like we all have our own gifts. Like some people, like I'm very drawn towards this. Maybe it's because... I remember a time when I was a kid where I literally walked around the house singing and nonstop. And then somebody probably criticized me. I don't really remember, but somebody probably told me I have a terrible voice or something. And then I was afraid to speak and sing in front of people. And now this is like, you know, overcoming that wounding, but it's also something that I've, I've been drawn to do with my voice since I was a young child. 
you know, so, but I really think that there's just, we're all meant to do our own spin on things. Nobody's meant to be exactly alike. And that doesn't make one better than the other. Thank you. That, that makes a lot of sense. So was there um, anything else that you, that you would like to talk about that you would like to hit on? I'm working, I'm like, you know, always trying to do these new things and incorporate that to grow. And, you know, uh, I'm like where I work in the medical office and then I'm working at Nourishing Journey and it's like two totally different polarities, I'll say. But I love the energy of Nourishing Journey. And the, like, like when you walk in there, somehow you just feel good. And like, I like the the openness of the people for the most part that go there. So it's, you know, so I would, you know, just like to be able to have people experience that more, like, you know, the Reiki shares, the events, whatever it is, like the, I want to be able to do that more instead of like mainstream, you know, working at, like, I love my job. Like I love the flexibility and everything at um, working at the medical office, but I want to be able to help people and empower them to better Mm -hmm. their lives in whatever way I can and use what I've been taught to help others, you know? And I think that's kind of what we're all doing anyways. Like, you know, we want to help other people. We want to see other people succeed. 